On this week's Texas Political Roundup, the state's voter ID law takes another hit in the courts. Plus, Texas parents who don't vaccinate their kids fear public shaming if a bill working its way through the legislature becomes law. And the Senate is weighing in on if county clerks with religious objections to same-sex marriages can recuse themselves. Alana Rocha with our coverage partner, the Texas Tribune, has the latest for us from the Capitol. Asked to reevaluate the state's voter ID law, a federal judge rules for the second time that state lawmakers intentionally discriminated against black and Latino voters when passing the strict law. That's where we start this edition of your Texas Political Roundup. The 10-page ruling, if it withstands almost certain appeals, could ultimately put Texas back on the list of states needing outside approval before changing election laws. Texas conducted the 2016 general election under a court-ordered relaxation of the rules. But a study out this week showed the state's $2.5 million voter education campaign failed to prevent widespread confusion about the state's identification rules. Some Texas families fear discrimination and harassment if the state required reports of vaccine exemptions at each school, even though the bill would not identify exempted students. State lawmakers listened to hours of testimony this week on House Bill 2249, which would mandate the Texas Department of State Health Services report every other year on vaccine preventable outbreaks, in addition to the number of students with vaccine exemptions at each school. The bill's author says no identifying information would be included, but opponents argue the measure seeks to out and publicly shame families who choose not to have their kids vaccinated. County clerks with religious objections to same-sex marriage could recuse themselves under a measure that passed out of the Senate. Senate Bill 522 would have a county commissioner's court appoint another official to issue a marriage license to same-sex couples if the clerk objects based on religious beliefs. In 2015, the U.S. Supreme Court ruled that same-sex couples have a constitutional right to marry. At the time, same-sex couples ran into problems here in Texas because some county clerks refused to issue the marriage licenses. I'm Alana Rocha. Slacking on the job, a Tribune analysis shows you which lawmakers have missed the most votes this session. That story plus the latest from our Washington Bureau is all online at texastribune.org.